The link is going to be in the chat if you need to look up the materials or print a worksheet. We have two Longmont teachers with us today to help us with our art projects. Mary Claire Collins, a kindergarten teacher at La Escuela Bilingüe Pioneer. Hi, Mary Claire. And we have Stephanie Potter, a third grade teacher at Eagle Crest Elementary School. So welcome to both Mary Claire and Stephanie. And our friend Tim Villard is uh, from Sustainable Resilient Longmont is going to join us as well to learn how to make some recycled art. So we'll have him popping on too with some of the art activities and I'm going to be making some recycled art as well, uh, along with Mary Claire and Stephanie. So uh, remember, if you have any questions, you can use the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen to type in a question. Um, and also we'll be doing some raise hands too. So during, uh, during the art activities, oh, there's Tim. Hi, Tim. Um, if you have any questions, you can just raise your hand or use the Q&A box and we will try to answer as many questions as we can. So uh, Mary Claire is going to start us off with a project that will help us become better nature observers. Hey, gracias, Naomi. Hola, amigos de la tierra. Estoy muy feliz de estar con ustedes para aprender acerca de nuestro lindo planeta tierra y cómo la podemos cuidar y proteger y disfrutarla. Y Naomi dijo, si tienen preguntas durante la presentación, pueden escribirlas en el Q&A y también pueden alzar la mano si tienen preguntas. Hello, friends of the earth. I'm so glad we are here together today to learn all about how we can protect the earth, care for it, explore it, and enjoy our beautiful planet. Nuestra primera actividad es hacer binóculos de tubos de cartón. Claro que estos binóculos no van a poder mostrar cosas más grandes, pero sí nos van a ayudar a enfocar mejor en los objetos afuera en la naturaleza. So our first activity is to make binoculars out of cardboard tubes. Of course, these binoculars will not help us see things any bigger in nature, but they will help us to focus. And like Claudia said in her presentation, observing is important, especially for wild animals. We're not going to be touching them. Observing es mejor. Como nos dijo Claudia, es muy importante observar en la naturaleza, sobre todo los animalitos, importante observar y no tocar. Okay. Claro que el primer trabajo de un científico es observar y hacer preguntas acerca de sus observaciones. Espero que disfruten de esta actividad y que tus binóculos les ayudarán a practicar cómo observar la naturaleza y formar preguntas. Did you know the first job of a scientist is to observe and then to wonder and ask questions about um, your observations? I hope your binoculars will help you practice observing nature and asking questions. Okay, primero vamos a agarrar el papel. So first, we're gonna choose one of your colored papers. So Tim, do you have colored paper with you? Primero vamos a agarrar el papel y van a doblar el papel. You're gonna fold the paper because we wanna make the right size to cover our binoculars. Okay, doblalo por la mitad, cortalo, y después doblalo otra vez y cortalo. So first fold your colored paper and cut it. Fold it in half, you can fold it in half either way. And then fold it in half again and cut it again. Así que vas a tener, lo doblas otra vez y la cortas otra vez, y ya vas a tener Dos pedazos del tamaño correcto para cubrir tus tubos de cartón. Now you will have two pieces of paper that are just the right size to cover up the toilet paper tubes to make them look better. We'll decorate these papers first. Primero vamos a decorar los dos papeles. Okay. Entonces... A ver, Tim, muéstrame tu papel. O Naomi, ya tienes tus dos papeles. Muy bien. Ok. Primero, 
vamos a decorar con marcadores o con sus fotos de la naturaleza que tú tienes en tu, en tu bolsa. Entonces, a ver, vamos a decorar. Yo voy a poner un patrón con mi marcador. I'm going to decorate my pages, maybe with a marker. I could make a pattern or I could make circles, un patrón, círculos. I can, o también pueden cortar fotos de animales que tú tienes en tu paquete. Aquí corté un leopardo. You can also use the nature pictures that were inside your bag from recycled magazines or from recycled calendars. Lo que encontraron en su bolsa de materiales de calendarios reciclados o de revistas reciclados. Es importante usar cosas recicladas. It's important to use as many recycled things as you can. And that helps us save our, the Earth's resources. Eso nos ayuda a guardar los recursos de la tierra. OK. Aquí está mi leopardo con manchas. Tamara Naomi, do you want to show us how you decided to decorate your, your page? Oh, I just have the thing cut out, so I'm going to have to glue it down. We, we can uh, get it glued, but I picked a picture of this uh, cute penguin. Ay, un pingüino. OK. Entonces, decora su otro papel. Necesitan dos papeles decorados. Vamos a, a trabajar unos minutos. So we're going to work a few minutes. You're going to need two, your, both of your little pages decorated. We're going to work for a few minutes and see how, we, see how we do. And then we'll be ready for the next step. Tal vez si quieren escribir en el, en el Q&A lo que como tú vas a decorar su papel. Maybe in the Q&A you can write how you may have decided to decorate your pages or what pictures of nature you found in your bag. O tal vez puedes decirnos lo que tú encontraste en tu bolsa de materiales que vas a poner. Tim, what picture did you just cut out? I have just cut out a picture of a vulture Ooh. going on the theme with the the raptors from earlier. And then I just found this, this cute little hedgehog. So I'm going to be gluing this hedgehog on as well. Un erizo, un erizo bonito. A beautiful little hedgehog. Ok. Si no han terminado, está bien. Pueden terminar después. If you haven't finished, that's ok. You can finish later. I'm just going to show everyone the next step. Ok. Ahora vamos a cubrir los tubos con los papeles bonitos. Usa bastante pegamento para que se pegue muy bien. También será importante contar hasta 20 bien despacio y agarrar bien el tubo con las dos manos mientras, mientras contamos. So now the next step is to cover the tubes with our beautifully decorated paper. Remember to make sure to use a lot of glue so it sticks really well. And we're going to count to 20 in Spanish while we're holding our tubes with both hands and holding it really tight so that paper stays on the toilet paper tube. That will make it look a lot better. Así el tubo se va a ver mucho mejor. OK, ya puse mucho, pega, mucho pegamento y ya lo voy a cubrir con dos manos. Y la parte, aquí esta parte la voy a poner adentro. So the ends, I'm going to tuck inside. 
So the ends, so it looks a little smoother. Así se va a ver mejor si yo pongo adentro la parte al final. Okay, listos we para contar. Of, we have a couple of raised hands. Let me just, uh, if, while you're holding that, um, before we okay. count, can, uh, I'm going to let Jonathan talk. So let's okay. ask to unmute. Do we have a question? Jonathan? Does he ask you if you want it to unmute? Did she say what she was using to decorate? <laughs> yeah, maybe you could share what you put on your paper. All right, we've also got, um, Matthew says, I just drew some trees for a decoration. Oh, árboles, perfecto. Trees are so very important for our earth. Los árboles son tan importantes para la tierra. Ok, vamos a contar hasta 20 bien duro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, 19, 20. Ya se pegó. It got glued on. Now that you've done it once, you're an expert. So let's do it on the second two. Ahora son expertos. Lo vamos a hacer otra vez con tu segundo papel. With your second paper, a lot of glue. Remember, on the edges too. Por todos lados van a poner mucho pegamento. Ok, y ahora vamos a taparlo el otro y vamos a hacer lo mismo. We're going to do the very same thing. Tuck in the edges. Hold it tight with lots of pressure and we'll count to 20. This time let's count in English. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ta-da! Ok. Ahora tengo dos tubos bonitos y necesito pegar los dos tubos juntos. So now I have my two decorated tubes. I need to glue them together. Otra vez, usa bastante pegamento y contamos hasta 20. Again, we're going to use a lot of glue and let's count to 20. Yo voy a poner mi pegamento en la parte, en la línea donde um, se termina el papel. I'm going to put my glue on the part where the, the paper ends so that it'll look really good. Okay, pegamento. Pegamento y yo voy a poner pegamento en los dos tubos. I'm going to put glue on both of the tubes just to make sure they stick together really well. Ok, una vez más. Esta vez necesitan meter los dedos. This time you need to put your fingers inside the tube and squeeze. Necesitan poner sus dos, sus dedos adentro y hacer mucha presión. Vamos hasta 20. Y bien duro. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Juntos. All together, I hope yours worked. Ahora, el próximo paso es, muy bien, Naomi, qué lindo. Qué bonito, Naomi. A I'm ver, gonna have to count again, because I think I needed more glue. So I, you said put on a lot of yeah, glue. Yeah, a lot of glue, and, glue. 
And Naomi, your fingers should go all the way in. You should be, your fingers should be touching all the way in. Like this? Yep, that looks good. All, all the right. way in and squeeze. squeeze. Use your muscles. Los músculos. Squeeze tight. Okay. Okay. Al final, vamos a hacer dos agujeros en los lados de los tubos para poner el hilo. Con la ayuda de un adulto, se puede hacer con el punto de las tijeras. So the next step, you need a grown-up to help you. A hole punch, the cardboard might be a little bit too hard. So what I use is the point of a scissors. Maybe a grown-up can help you to make the two holes with the point of a scissors. You could try a hole punch, but a mí me gusta el las tijeras. I prefer the scissors. And I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Y así se hace el hueco. Y así está el hueco. Ya tiene un hueco aquí. Y al otro lado, on the other side, another hole. Muy bien. Agarra tu hilo. Si tiene su hilo. Y lo vamos a meter en el hueco. Grab your yarn, put it through, and tie a knot. Y haces un nudo. Okay, un nudo a un lado, one knot on one side, and then put it through the other hole. Ahora al otro lado, vas a meter el hilo y hacer un nudo, and tie a knot. You might need a grown-up to help you with that knot also. Tal vez van a necesitar un adulto ayudarte con el nudo. Aquí están sus binoculos. Los puedes poner. Wow, nice job, Tim. Buen trabajo, Naomi, Stephanie. Thanks, I love these. These are Here awesome. They are. <laughs> Does everyone want to show oh. off what they made? Tim, why don't you show us and tell us what you put on yours? Yeah, here we go. Let me get up nice and close. I have... I found a wildcat that I put on here. Here's the hedgehog from earlier. I also found this cool frog. Maybe it's a frog. And then there's the vulture that I had earlier. And I just, just barely kept up and got these through the holes, but this is pretty cool. I like, I like my binoculars. Buen trabajo, bien hecho, well done. Alguien más, does someone else want to share? I, mine has green for Earth Day, and I put on that penguin with the mouth open. It looks like it's about to eat this dragonfly. I don't oh, know cool. if penguins eat dragonflies, but that's what it looks like on mine. <laughs> that's cool. Que bonito. Okay, amigos, miren tus papeles. En tu bolsa también tienen papeles. So in your bag, you have some papers. This first one is a page for you to color. And also it shows you how scientists use, what well, we all use our five senses to observe and learn about nature. Este papel te puede mostrar como los científicos, como todos, usamos los cinco sentidos para observar la naturaleza. Y tú puedes colorear este papel Está en inglés y en español. El otro papel tiene un rectángulo y un círculo. The other page has a rectangle and a circle. And this explains how scientists draw nature sketches. Este papel te explica cómo los científicos dibujan y hacen uh, dibujos de la naturaleza. Primero, en el rectángulo, 
bueno, vas a salir, vas a buscar algo interesante en la naturaleza y lo vas a dibujar en el rectángulo. So the first step is go outside in nature with your binoculars, focus on something interesting and draw it in the rectangle. Okay? Segundo, en el círculo, vas a enfocarte en una sola parte de tu dibujo grande y lo vas a dibujar bien grande en el círculo. So the second step is, pick one part of your nature drawing from the rectangle and draw it really big, just that one little part in the circle. And that's how scientists make nature drawings. Eso es como los científicos hacen dibujos de la naturaleza. Espero que este fin de semana, lindo que va a ser un, unos dos días lindos, bonitos afuera, podrían salir, usar sus binoculos y hacer unos dibujos de la naturaleza. So I really hope that this beautiful weekend that we have You can go outside in nature, find something interesting, and make some nature sketches. I think we have a quick poll to do about nature sketching. If we can get that up on a screen now. Okay, the question is, Mary Claire, you want to read the questions? Sure. So what would you most like to look at the next time you spend time outside in nature? ¿Qué te gustaría observar más la próxima vez que tú estés afuera en la naturaleza? ¿Te gustaría ver animales? Would you like to look at animals? Plantas? Maybe you'd look, like to look at plants. Insectos? Insects? Or rocas? Rocks. So go ahead and, and vote for your favorite nature object, what you would like to look at the next time you go outside. Ponga tu, tu favorito, la cosa favorita que tú vas a mirar la próxima vez, la próxima vez que vayas para afuera. So let's see which one is the most popular. Vamos a ver cuál es el más popular. I think I might know, especially <laughs> after we saw our <laughs> Wildlife Rehabilitation Center presentation. A lo mejor van a escoger algo que uh, hemos visto en la presentación de Claudia. All right, we'll give a few more seconds. If you haven't voted yet, pick which one you would like to look at most when you go to nature this weekend. Animals, animales, plants, plantas, insects, insectos, or rocks, rocas. Okay. I'm going to vote too. Okay. <laughs> I think all of the votes might be in. Oh, we got a couple more coming in. Let's give it another second or two. All right. Let's see now what was the most popular thing. Oh, we've got a good variety of choices. Más popular si fueron animales. Eso es lo que yo pensaba. That's what I thought. Um, 63% of us wanted to look at animals, 25% plants, zero voted for insects. Oh, no, uh, my poor, my poor uh, dragonflies. <laughs> <laughs> Pobrecito los insectos. Uh, and 13% for rocks. Y 13% para, querían ver rocas. Interesante. Um, we have... A, uh, a hand raised from Diane. So we will allow to ask Diane to unmute if you'd like to ask a question. Uh, we just had a pair of binoculars to show. I'm not sure how we do it. Oh, um, we might be able to allow you to go. Wow, great. I would love to see those. She's prompted you to be a panelist. We'll see if that lots you show. We'll, we'll temporarily let you turn on your video. Um, we will have opportunities that you can share what you've made too at the end of this, okay? okay. And, uh, can you explain what you put on? I'm, we have a, uh, a, a 
blue-footed booby. Can you, I don't know where you can see it. No, they can see it. Start. Yeah, I think you have to start the video if you're gonna show, but. Oh, I keep thinking this is a touch screen. <laughs> okay, show it. Um, there we go, there wow, we go. Look at those. Wow. And she's got a. And um, here's Vina's here. Vina, show you. Can you see it? Beautiful. Wow. A blue-footed blue booby. And let me show the other ones. And you have penguins. And a llama. And oh, a llama. llama. Oh, llama. Beautiful. And the others are hard to see. A tiger. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. And how old, how old are you two girls who did that project? Lena, tell them how old you are. If she can't see, you have to tell Four. You. Is it four? Four. You got four. it. Mm -hmm. Put up two fingers. And then. Nadia is two. Wow. Two. Nice job. Buen trabajo. Very well done. <laughs> Thank <Muy> you. Bien. <laughs> Gracias. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can cut out now. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your binoculars. That I love those. They're great. All right, um, so thank you, Mary Claire, for sharing the binoculars. Um, I think, were we gonna go on a, do a little bear hunt before yes, we move we on? are. We're gonna All do right. another little movement break with your binoculars, okay? And we're gonna do it in Spanish and English. So everybody stand up. That includes Tim, Stephanie, Naomi. Grab your binoculars and here we go. We're gonna start marching, okay? Wait, no, I forgot to explain. I will say one line and you repeat. At your house, we won't be able to hear you, but we'll be able to keep the rhythm. Entonces, yo digo la primera, una, una frase, ustedes van a repetir, okay? Yo espero mientras repiten. Okay. Buscamos osos. Buscamos uno grande. Tengo mis binoculos. No tengo miedo. Oh no, sacate alto. No podemos, no podemos ir arriba. No podemos ir abajo. No podemos ir alrededor. Tenemos que ir derecho. Swish, 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 swish. We're going on a bear hunt. I got my binoculars. We're gonna catch a big one. I'm not scared. Oh no, mud. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. We have to go through it. Squish, 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 squish. Squish, squish. Buscamos osos. Tengo mis binoculos. Buscamos uno grande. No tengo miedo. Oh no, un lago. No podemos ir arriba. No podemos ir abajo. No podemos ir alrededor. Tenemos que nadar, nada, nada, push, nadamos, 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 nadamos. Going on a bear hunt. I see a cave, una cueva. Uh oh, oh, yo veo un oso. Let's go back. Vamos afuera. A nadar, 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 nadar. Squish, 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 squish. Swish, 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 swish. Corremos, corremos. A la casa, a la casa, adentro. Estamos a salvo. We are safe. Buen trabajo.
Good job, everybody. Good work. That was fun. Nice. <laughs> In a while since I went on bear hunt. That was great. <laughs> uh, we have a comment from Jonathan Singer who just wants to say, my daughter Gwen is enjoying herself. Thanks. Thank you, Jonathan. I'm so glad. Um, thank you all for joining us for our arts and crafts activities. Uh, and thank you, Mary Claire, for taking us on that bear hunt and making binoculars. Thank you. Thanks everyone for coming. Gracias a todos por estar con nosotros. And uh, Sarah says, we know that song from school, but loved singing it in Spanish. Gracias. Hey. Um, so up next, Stephanie is going to teach us about making Earth Day signs and why we march for the planet. All right. Thank you so much. Very clear. That was really fun. I enjoyed making the binoculars. Bueno. And we, we are ready to take action for our Earth. Hey, amigos, ahora vamos a tomar acción para apoyar nuestra tierra. All right. Can you guys see my screen? Did that work? All right. Excellent. Well, we are going to learn about demonstrating. And we're also going to be creating posters, and then we're going to be participating in a virtual rally for our Earth. Hoy vamos a aprender acerca de las manifestaciones en persona y virtual. Después vamos a crear un cartel para nuestra tierra. So what is a rally and why do we demonstrate? Entonces, ¿qué es una manifestación y para qué sirve? A rally is a gathering of people to show support for a cause that matters. You may have participated in or seen in-person rallies such as this one in the picture. Our rally is going to be virtual to keep us all safe. Next year, we hope to do this in person. Una manifestación es una reunión de muchas personas para mostrar su apoyo a una causa importante. A lo mejor ustedes han participado o han visto una manifestación como en la foto. La nuestra hoy será virtual para mantenernos todos a salvo, pero el próximo año esperamos poder juntarnos y hacerlo todos juntos en persona. Demonstrations are important. Oh, excuse me, I am so sorry. I thought I had that turned off. Uh, demonstrations are important because they allow people to have a voice on issues that matter, like the health of our earth. Las manifestaciones son importantes porque nos permiten tener una voz en temas significantes como nuestra planeta. They also draw the attention of lawmakers and community members who want to support the cause, and rallies inspire others to join in and make changes. También llaman la atención de nuestros representantes en el gobierno y otros miembros de la comunidad. Las inspiran a los demás a juntar la causa y hacer cambios. For this activity, you will need the following items. You'll need cardboard and something to draw with, such as markers or paint. You could also use just uh, recycled paper. Um, optional items you may want are nature pictures from recycled magazines or calendars, like what you use with the binocular activity. Um, you may also want a round object to help you draw the earth. You could use anything. Um, this is a plate, um, a plastic plate, but you could use anything you want that's round. Um, you also um, want to use as many recycled items as possible because because it's healthy for our earth and it saves resources. Para esta actividad se necesita un cartón, marcadores o pinturas. Se puede usar fotos de la naturaleza de revistas o calendarios reciclados y algo redondo para trazar, para hacer la forma de la tierra. Trata de usar tantos materiales reciclados como sea posible porque eso es saludable para la tierra porque así ahorramos los recursos. Today, we'll be rallying for our Earth. Think about what you love about the Earth. Hoy estaremos luchando por nuestra tierra. Piensa en lo que te gusta de la tierra, lo que más te gusta. We want to uh, do the poll now or after we start our signs? 
Um, we can do it after we start our slides. Maybe okay. That, that's probably a better time. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, do you enjoy, so we're thinking about what we love about the earth. Do you enjoy playing outside or riding your bike or scootering? Do you absorb, ab um, well, do you enjoy observing animals um, in nature like you will with your new binoculars? ¿Cómo disfrutas de la naturaleza? ¿Te gusta andar en tu bici o en tu scooter afuera? ¿Te gusta jugar afuera? ¿Te gusta observar la naturaleza? ¿Cómo puedes hacer con tus nuevos binoculos? We want to continue to be able to do these things with clean air to breathe and fresh water to drink, less pollution and a healthier earth. Claro que nosotros queremos seguir haciendo todo eso con aire limpio para respirar Agua limpio para beber y menos polución y un planeta saludable para todos. What do you notice about these signs? Let's read them together and talk about them. ¿De qué te das cuenta en estos carteles? Leámoslos juntos y hablemos más de ellos. Look at the Save the Earth sign. It's eye-catching with a clear short message. El cartel que dice, save the earth, salva la tierra, llama la atención y tiene un mensaje corto y bien claro. Some posters use humor and wit like these three. There is no planet B. Join the green side and I don't want to be a hot dog. Algunos letreros son chistosos. Por ejemplo, no existe planeta B. Júntate al lado verde o el perrito que tiene su chaqueta diciendo, yo no quiero ser un perro caliente. The Stand Up for People and Our Planet poster sends a warm message of inclusion that we're all in this together. El cartel que dice, de, defiende a la gente y nuestro planeta, manda un mensaje de inclusión y que todos estamos juntos en eso. Let's make a plan for our posters. Think about what matters to you most and come up with a message. Here you can see some ideas or you can create your own. Vamos a hacer un plan para nuestro cartel. Piensa en un mensaje importante para ti. Aquí tú puedes ver algunos ejemplos en inglés. Tú puedes usar uno de estos o tú puedes inventar tu propio mensaje. Lo bueno es que si tú eres bilingüe, Tú puedes escribir tu mensaje en inglés y en español, y así más personas van a poder entender tu cartel. Think about a simple picture you could draw that would add meaning to your message, or look through recycled materials and find pictures to add to your posters. Después, piense en un dibujo simple que tú puedes dibujar para dar más énfasis a tu mensaje. Puedes usar también fotos de revistas o de tus calendarios reciclados. All right, so let's get started. I am going to stop sharing my screen. Do we want to do the poll now or do you want to? All right, great. Would you like me to read that also? Yeah, please. Right. please Great. Read the so the question is, why do we rally? Mary Claire, we... Sí, sí. ¿Por qué hacemos manifestaciones? ¿Para qué? ¿Por qué? Do we rally to give voice to a cause that matters? Para dar voz a una causa que nos importa. To allow lawmakers and community members to learn about and support important issues que los legisladores y miembros de la comunidad conozcan y apoyen temas importantes. To inspire others to join the cause. Inspirar a otros a unirse a nuestras causas. Or all of the above. Todas las razones arriba. Ok, yo voy a votar. I'm going to vote. Yes, mm -hmm. go ahead and vote, please. We'll give a few, a minute or so for people to have a chance to vote. There's lots of good reasons up here on why do we rally. Naomi, maybe in the Q&A, people can write down what message they're thinking about putting on their poster. 
tal oh, vez eh, en el yeah, Q&A yeah. podemos, sí, pueden escribir eh, el mensaje que tú estás pensando para escribir. It would be interesting to hear what uh, messages people are coming up with. Yeah, I love that idea. Thank you, Mary Claire. A ver si tienes tu idea ya en tu cabeza, lo puedes escribir en el Q&A. Y tal vez eso ayudaría a los demás uh, con su idea. And that might even help some people uh, with their idea. Yeah, come up with some others, yep. Yeah. Okay, I think we've got uh, enough people have voted. Let's see, anyone else want to get a vote in before we close the poll? All right, we'll end the polling and share the results. So all of the answers are correct. We do rally to allow lawmakers and community members to learn about and support important issues, to give voice to a cause that matters, to inspire others, all of the above. Yes. Todas, todas las razones son correctas. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you everybody for participating in that. So let's get started with our posters. Empecemos. Stephanie nos va a mostrar cómo se hace. All right, great. So um, you can use cardboard or anything recycled. You may want to have it vertically, use it this way, or you may want to do it horizontally. So you can think about how your message might fit best on your poster board. Um, pueden, I'm gonna, oh, sorry, go ahead. Ya pueden usarlo, pueden usarlo vertical, horizontal o vertical. Puedes usar el cartón que estaba en tu bolsa o cualquier papel y piensa cómo sería mejor, o así al lado o de arriba abajo. Yeah. So you can draw your picture or you can use your recycled materials like the pictures you found in your bags. Puedes o dibujarlo o puedes usar las fotos de, de tu bolsa a pegarlos con pegamento. Yeah, so here's an example of a poster. Um, on this poster, I used a frog that I cut out of a calendar and then I drew an earth and then in nice clear letters, I wrote be green and hop on it. Mira el cartel, el ejemplo que tiene Stephanie, que usó, uh, dibujó un círculo, la tierra, cortó una rana y dice, sea verde, be green. Hazlo. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. All right. So um, you're going to think about your message first to start. You have a My message in the, in the Q&A if you want to hear oh. what someone came up with. Love it. Yes. Matthew says, stop polluting is Matthew's message. Excellent. That's a great message and so important. Wonderful. Yeah. We'll keep sharing those messages. My message today is going to be let's love earth. So I'm going um, gonna to go ahead and write that up here. Okay. Stephanie, el, el mensaje de Stephanie, que ella, ella pensó, ella decidió, eh, vamos a amar a la tierra. So in English, that's let's love earth. Primero va a escribirlo arriba en otro papel para ver um, dónde está la mitad. Yeah, and I'm writing that down just so I have, I remember what I'm going to focus on my message. And for this message, I'm going to draw earth. Ella va a trazar algo redondo y va a dibujar la tierra en su cartel. Great. All right. So here is a simple way to draw earth. You can take your round object get it where you want it to be, and then you can just trace around it. Como está trazando alrededor de su objeto redondo para representar la tierra. Yes. So that gives you a nice round earth. Can you guys see that all right? I can scooch that up a little bit. Yeah, sí, yo veo, I see it. Yep. Wonderful. All right. Then I'm going to move to the other side here. Then you, so for me, I might want to add my continents. I might want to draw a few things in the middle. And you could look at a real map of the earth to see how to draw. Está dibujando los continentes. 
también, también en YouTube, tú puedes aprender a dibujar los continentes en el mundo. So on YouTube, there's some also um, videos you can watch to slowly show how to draw the continents. That's cool. Yeah, that would be a great thing to watch. We don't have time to do that now, but you could absolutely do that when we're finished to add to your posters. Tim and Naomi, what are what are your? Oh, do you want to go ahead and translate? No, that? actually, I think I said that in Spanish. You said already. that, okay. <laughs> so I translated for you. Thank you, Tim and Naomi. You want to show us what you're doing and what your message is going to be? So so far, I did the. I, I took. I have a plate, like you you had. I took a plate and I drew a circle and cut it out to make our Earth. So next, I'm going to draw in the the different shapes. And um, I might do Let's Love Earth, but in Spanish, maybe Mary Claire, can you share again what Let's Love Earth is in Spanish? You can, you can write Amamos la Tierra, Amamos. I'll write it, I'll write it in the chat. Yeah, I can, you want me to write it up here too? I don't know how to spell okay. that. So it's A-M-A-M-O-S, Amamos. La, la, L A, tierra, T I E R R A. Amamos la tierra. Wonderful. Thank you. And All Aura, right. Aura says that their message is going to be save endangered species. Love that. Importante. I've just put a sign together here and it says, Every day is Earth Day, and uh, Mary Claire, you can correct me, but if if I if needed advice, like cada día es el día de la tierra. Perfecto, perfecto. Cada día mm -hmm. es el día de la tierra. Nice. What a great idea. What a great sentiment. Wonderful. All right, so. Um, Tim already has his words on on his, which is awesome, and I'm going to put some words on mine. I want to, I'm going to look at what my message and I'm going to kind of center it around my earth. Va a mirar su mensaje y la mitad va a poner primero. Empieza con la palabra love. Yes. Y va a escribir love primero porque está en la mitad. Después va a tener espacio para hacer las otras palabras. Wonderful. So my love is in the middle. So I'm going to put that here. I'm going to make my letters nice and big so we can see them and very neat too. Haz tus letras bien grandes, así se van a ver mejor, con mucho cuidado y así van a poder leerlo, tu mensaje importante, con cuidado. I do this one. And once you have your message written, you can go ahead and add details and add color. Entonces, una vez que ya tengas tu mensaje bien escrito, puedes poner más colores y más detalles en tu cartel. So do we have a few minutes to just work on our posters now? Is that all right? OK, entonces se pueden poner a trabajar en su cartel. Unos minutos trabajamos. And if anyone else wants to share their message, you can send it in the in the Q&A and we'll we'll share it with the group. Wonderful. And it's okay if you don't finish your posters during this time. Está bien, si no terminan ahorita, lo pueden terminar más tarde hoy. Solo lo importante sería empezarlo. Y si quieren compartir sus ideas, lo pueden escribir en el Q&A. Yes. A ver quién sure. tiene mensaje bonito. O en el chat. En el chat.
We have a raised hand, so maybe um, see if Jonathan and Matthew want to share anything. Wonderful. Um, here, Matthew, will allow. Oh, oh, wait, Matthew, I think you might need to type in your question because it says we can't let you unmute. How are we doing? I wasn't raising my hand. Oh. <laughs> and it's me, Gwen. I'm in kindergarten. I am five, five years old. Wow. Thank you for joining us today. What is your message? Well, actually, I'm not doing any message. I just came to watch. Okay, wonderful. Well, we're glad to have you here. Anyway, in a quality crate, I also made some binoculars. Uh, if I could turn my screen off, if we could turn this, if I had my dad, if we could turn my screen on, could show you binoculars that do make things look bigger. Oh, real, real binoculars. That would be cool. If I put them in one of my koala crates, in, Today we have like a billion koala crates to open. <laughs> I'm switching to the yellow koala crate. I used to be on purple koala crates and purple is one of my favorite colors. Pink and purple are my favorite colors. Red, blue, and also white. Wow. I have a lot of favorite colors all right. You do. <laughs> Uh, thank you for I sharing, also, Gwen. I, Gwen also do, I like to draw, too. Oh, good. Gwen, thank I you for sharing. We have, I uh, someone else has their hand raised. I'm going to call Matthew. Um, Matthew said that he wants to share, uh, Matthew wants to share his poster. Hmm. So we're going to actually show you how you're going to share your poster next. So let's, uh, Stephanie, why don't you teach us how we can share our posters today? Definitely. All right. So do you see my screen again? Is that sharing? Yes. yes. Awesome. Yep. All right. So we're ready for our virtual rally for the earth. There are two ways you can participate in this, two ways you can upload your photos to participate in this virtual rally. Um, your family can email a picture of your poster and you can be in the picture or just the poster to Naomi and her um, her email address will be in the chat, naomi at srlongmont.org. Or um, you can upload your picture right to this Earth Day Padlet. Okay, entonces, cuando termines tu letrero y se ve bien bonito, vas a tomar una foto y subirlo para que todos lo veamos. Entonces, hay dos formas. La primera es mandar tu foto por correo electrónico a Naomi y su dirección está ahí en el chat. Y la segunda forma es subirla a nuestra Padlet. Así se va a usar el código con el chat y con el enlace para llegar al Padlet. Y Stephanie nos va a mostrar cómo se hace. All right, so there's a QR code right here for you to use. So if you have a phone or an iPad, you can just go to that QR code and it will take you straight to our Padlet. And our Padlet looks like, un, I'm sorry. oh, go ahead, sorry. Tienes un teléfono o un iPad, puedes tomar la foto del código del QR para llegar directamente al Padlet. Y así se ve. Yes, and we've already got a few up there already, which is wonderful. Wow. Yes. Here is, I think that's, that is yours, Tim, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I just got mine up. Wonderful. And we have another, we have a digital poster from a, another uh, friend also from Jack, which is really cool. So the way you're going to, there's two ways to upload. Um, the first way is you can, you can tap the pink plus sign and you'll get a white cell and you can type your message or your name in there. So I'm going to type my message in. 
que una forma de hacerlo es hacer clic en el círculo rosado que está abajo con el símbolo más y después va a aparecer un rectángulo blanco. Escribe tu nombre o tu mensaje. Great. Y después. Wonderful. So then your next step is to take a picture. So you'll tap on the camera and then you'll get your sign where you want it. You can be in your sign or you can just do your sign. El, el I can't quite get it there. We go. That's good enough. All right. And then you're going to tap the pink camera. El próximo paso es hacer clic en la cámara. Te pones en tu cartel o tú puedes ponerte a ti con tu cartel o solo su cartel en la pantalla y vas a hacer clic en la cámara para tomar la foto con tu computadora. Yes, and then you want to hit the pink save button. Y después tienes que hacer clic donde dice save en el, en el botón rosado también para guardarlo. The other way to upload is to just tap on the up arrow um, if you've already taken a picture of your poster and it's on your camera or in your phone, you can just tap on the up arrow. Okay, si ya has tomado una foto de tu cartel con tu cámara o con tu teléfono, vas a hacer clic en la flecha que va para arriba. Yeah, and then you just tap on the photo and it comes up that way. Está tu foto, haz clic en tu foto y ahí va se va a entrar en nuestro Padlet, en nuestra manifestación virtual. Yes. So we can't wait for you to upload your pictures of your posters and to join us for our virtual rally. Entonces, si pueden ahora terminar su, su cartel ahora o más tarde hoy y subir la foto a nuestro Padlet para que todos podamos ver nuestros carteles y nuestros mensajes para apoyar nuestra tierra. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us. That is all I have. And we just, again, can't wait to see what you create. And we can't wait for you to join us for our virtual rally. Gracias a todos por estar con nosotros y estamos esperando para ver todos los carteles bonitos con mensajes importantes. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much, Mary Claire and Stephanie for showing us how to do these fun art projects. Um, remember you can upload your finish sign through Padlet. The link is in the Zoom chat right now if you need it. Um, and now that you have your binoculars, you can do nature observation worksheet this weekend, that worksheet that is on our website or in your art kit. So if you need to print out an English or Spanish worksheet, go to srlongmont.org slash resources and the link will also be in the Zoom chat. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Um, after our lunch break, we will be back on Zoom at 1 p.m. for our teen programming and uh, on Longmont Public Media tonight at 6.30 for our evening program on equitable climate action in Longmont. If you would like to uh, get outside this weekend and help us beautify our parks. You can join us tomorrow. Our Earth Week uh, community cleanup is at Kensington Park from 1 to 3 p.m. tomorrow, Sunday. You can register on our website or you can use the link that is gonna be in the chat to register to sign up and join us to clean up our parks. If you want to learn more about Sustainable Resilient Longmont, please visit our website at srlongmont.org. We are a community run nonprofit profit, and we rely on donations and grants. So if you're able to donate, we deeply appreciate your support. Thank you, gracias everyone for coming today. And a huge thank you to our Earth Day sponsors, Circle Graphics, 3D Tree Care, City of Longmont, Rocky Mountain Paddleboard, Philanthropies, Longmont Dairy, Colorado Aromatics, Ma Management and Engineering Services, 
Resilient Restaurants of Colorado, Sierra Club Colorado, and Eclipse Gloves. We couldn't have done this without your support. Thank you so much.